This is a short tutorial demonstrating how to use the new decentralized crypto exchange ZKSwap that recently was launched on the Ethereum network. ZKSwap is a Uniswap-like AMM or Automated Market Maker Exchange built using the latest ZK Rollup technology. All transactions take place on a secondary Ethereum layer which makes fast transaction speeds and zero gas fees possible at the same time as your funds are completely safeguarded by Ethereum Layer 1. This makes ZKSwap a very attractive and needed exchange on the Ethereum network right now in times of extreme congestion and huge gas fees. We began to explore this DEX a couple of days ago and strongly recommend everyone that is trading on Ethereum to try it out. In this tutorial, I will use the MetaMask browser extension to connect to my Ethereum wallet. So we begin by going to zks.app and click on Launch App. Then we click on Unlock Wallet and confirm the unlock in MetaMask assuming that you are already logged in to MetaMask. Then click Deposit and select your token of choice. In this case, we select ZKS. Enter the amount and confirm. But before you confirm, make sure that you have enough Ethereum to cover the gas fees. Sometimes they can be as high as $100 depending on how congested the network is. The deposit itself can take a while, so now we just have to wait. The process could take about 3 to 5 minutes or sometimes longer, so you just have to be patient. So we can see here that the status is still confirming. If you want, you can also view the status on Etherscan where you can see right away when it's confirmed. So here you can see that it's still pending and now it's finished. So now you can see the tokens we deposited has arrived in the wallet on layer 2. So once the money has arrived, you can trade your tokens, you can provide liquidity in the pool, you can send your tokens to other Layer 2 wallets, or you can withdraw back to Ethereum Layer 1. So now we try to make a swap. We select the token we want to swap, and in this case, ZKS. We input the amount we want to swap, and we select the token we want to swap to. In this case, USDT. And then we click Swap and wait for confirmation. There is no gas fee, only a small liquidity provider fee. Compare that to services like Uniswap on Layer 1, where you sometimes have to pay 100 USD or even more on Ethereum gas fees. So even if the deposit fee to Layer 2 can be quite high, if you trade more than once, it becomes worth it because the withdrawal fee back to layer 1 is only $5. If you trade on a regular basis, you can safely keep some permanent funds on layer 2 and in that way avoid a lot of fees. Since ZK Swap is a DEX, only you have access to your wallet and you can always withdraw. Your Ethereum address on Layer 2 is always the same as on Layer 1. If you have several Ethereum wallets, you can, in other words, always send tokens between those wallets on Layer 2 with no fees. However, each Layer 2 account needs at least $200 worth of assets in order to transact. So don't send less than that to your other accounts. Okay, so here we can see our transaction, but it is not finalized yet. So we haven't gotten our USDT yet. Now, as you can see, our USDT has arrived in our wallet. You can always click the refresh button 
to double check if your swap tokens have arrived. Here you can see the transaction we just made, the liquidity provider fee, and the status of the transaction. Submitted means that the transaction has been sent to layer 2. Deal means that the layer 2 network relevant amount change may have taken effect. Success means that the transaction has completed DK proof and submitted to Ethereum layer 1 network. Now we're going to try to send tokens to another account on layer 2. So we click the send button in your layer 2 wallet and you paste the Ethereum address you want to send to. Make sure that it is an address you have direct access to, like another account in your MetaMask, for example. Put in the amount you want to send, in this case, 10 USDT, and press confirm. Now we just wait for confirmation. Transfer has been submitted, and as you can see, it has been registered in your wallet. And now we go to that wallet and see if the tokens have arrived. And indeed, they have arrived. Now we're going to check out the ZK Swap Explorer. You will find it on zkswap.info and it is also linked in the website menu next to the L2 pool. So here you can see the volume, total accounts, the total volume locked, the latest block, swap amount, total volume, total transactions, liquidity, pairs, and a total swap amount. And down here you can see the liquidity, how it has increased, and also the volume in uh, during different times. And down here, you can see all of the liquidity and volume of different tokens and pairs. And all the other transactions. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add liquidity on the exchange. In this example here, I have already added liquidity before and as you can see, I have a lot of failed transactions. The reason is that my slippage tolerance was too low. You can change the tolerance level by clicking the settings icon in the upper right corner. The higher the setting you choose, the more likely your transaction will go through. Personally, I've never used a setting higher than 5%. So now I'll show you how to add more liquidity to my current pool. I click on the plus icon under the liquidity pair ZKS USDT. And then I input the number of ZKS that I want to add. The minimum value you submit must be equivalent to 10 USDT in volume. In this case, we will submit 12 USDT, which right now automatically equals to 3.1629 ZKS. We then press supply and wait for confirmation.
adding liquidity has been submitted and here you can see the details of the transaction. As you can see now, the liquidity has been added and we now have a total of 27.60 USD in the ZKS USDT liquidity pair. As you can see now, the status of the transaction has been changed from submitted to added. Now we have 3.637102 pooled ZKS and 13.799225 pooled USDT. And now I'm going to show you how to remove liquidity. Just press the red minus icon under the liquidity pool that you want to remove and then you adjust the percentage you want to remove. In this case, we want to remove everything, so we pick 100%. Then we click Remove. Removing liquidity has been submitted, and we can now just wait and hope that the transaction went through. If it failed, it's most likely because your slippage tolerance was too low. And as you can see now, the liquidity has been removed and the transaction was successful. If you want to know more, there's a tutorial in the upper right corner under the More menu. It's quite informative. Before we end this tutorial, there's a few important things you should know. Number one, if you happen to be the first person to add liquidity in a pair, you will see a page like this with a text that says, you are the first liquidity provider. The ratio of tokens you will add will set the price for this pool. Once you are happy with the rate, click supply to review. This means that you are the one that has to make sure that the tokens in the upper and lower field are of equal value. In this case, you have to find out how many ZKS you can get per one sushi. You can find that information in outside markets. Unlike in already added pairs, ZK swap won't automatically do it for you. A couple of days ago, there was a guy who lost 20,000 US dollars because he put in the wrong values by mistake. So don't make the same mistake as him. Another thing you should know is that when you're sending tokens between accounts in ZKSwap, only send to accounts you have direct access to, like another one of your MetaMask account. Never send to a centralized exchange wallet like Binance or Coinbase because they are not on layer two and you will lose access to your tokens. If you think that the Ethereum gas fees are too high when you are depositing to Layer 2, you can wait a few hours and see if they go down. Normally, they do on some times of the day. If you are sending money to other accounts on ZKSwap Layer 2, make sure that the value of the tokens you send is more than 200 USDT because that's the minimum requirement. Otherwise, your account will remain locked. Before you deposit to ZK Swap Layer 2, you also have to make sure that you have enough Ethereum in your account to cover the gas fees. They can sometimes be as high as $100. Otherwise, you may see an unknown error message like this. People connecting from the US need to use a VPN to be able to access ZK Swap. Finally, some random problems are cache related and can be solved by clearing your browser cache or switching to a different browser. This was all for now. I hope you liked the tutorial and that you will enjoy ZKSwap. 
a mind-blowing new deck in our opinion. 